Hello, everyone. I'm Blake Shin. Hello, Blake. Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome, and thank you very much for coming on our show. Actually, it's your very first season in Hong Kong. Can you tell me how did you first feel when you received the invitation from the Hong Kong Jockey Club? Yeah, I felt amazing. It was, um, yeah, it was, it was like a dream come true, really. I've been wanting to come to Hong Kong for ever since I wanted to be a jockey. I've followed Hong Kong racing since I was a little kid, little boy, and um, you know, I've worked uh, very hard to, to be sitting here right now and uh, fulfilling a dream. And um, yeah, I just, when I got the phone call to say I've obtained a license, I just was on top of the world, felt very proud. Yes, like what you just said to me and also in some previous interviews, I, I have always heard that you always want to come to Hong Kong, but why? For any jockey um, to ride in Hong Kong, it's the epicenter for racing in the world in my opinion. And I've seen the best jockeys come here and grow as a rider and improve and I've always wanted to come here and learn and grow and keep improving and um, I followed guys like Darren Beedman, he's an idol of mine and he's you know, won the biggest races in Hong Kong and that's what I want to try and do myself. So now that you have already been here for a while, you saw this place. What do you think about this place? Is it anything like you imagined before? <laughs> uh, interesting question. It's, I wasn't sure really what to expect from Hong Kong. Um, never. But I've been here a couple of times but never lived in Hong Kong. So it's a very interesting um, place. It's a fascinating place. Um, you're learning something different every day, but you've got to expect the unexpected in Hong Kong and I think you've just got to keep your head down and keep wanting to learn and improve every day and you can't get too ahead of yourself and um, it's a place that's here to test you and challenge you on every level and um, you know I'm here, I'm here to challenge myself and um, or else I might as well go home. What about the racing crowd? You know the race courses? the crowd, the everyone, racing fans, do you like it? I do, I do like it. Um, you know, everyone in, well from my point of view, um, from what I've seen so far in this short time, is here for the, the racing. Um, it's a really racing sort of culture. You know, the people who, who from the jockeys to the trainers to the owners to the to the you know, everyone who's involved in the horse racing in Hong Kong is just about turning up on the Wednesday and the, the Sunday and there for the, for the horse racing and there to compete and that's what we're all all here for and from my point of view I'm I'm just here there just trying to play my part and, and try and do well and, and hopefully we can. Before you officially move over to Hong Kong, do you do anything to get yourself prepared? I, I did. I did a lot of um, studying of, of the form to try and get myself as prepared I, as I could. Um, you know, there's a lot to get your head around in terms of the form and trying to get to know the, the horses as best you can. Um, but that's only a small, small part of it. You know, you've got the track, both tracks, learning about them. You've got actually, you can only do the research on the horses, but you've actually got to ride the horses to get to know them. And that's a different type of feel. You've got to get to know the trainers. Um, there's owners to get to know, which I haven't really got to know them. There's a lot to get your head around, um, but, but I'm only sort of in the infancy stages at the moment, so. Um, look, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it and, you know, I'm here for, I'm here, hopefully here for the long haul, so it's, you know, it's going to be a journey, but, you know, it's only small steps at, so, so far. So talking about trainers, who have been the most supportive to you? Look, they've all been really, really good. I've, they've all seemed to give me, give me a chance and give me their time in this early stages. 
Look, it's but Danny Shum gave me my first winner. He's given me the rides. Um, most trainers have given me an opportunity, whether it's track work or or trials or their time, just general chit chat. And I feel once I can break break into the the racing scene and get a few winners, I feel opportunities are going to start to come. And um, look, I enjoy talking to people like Frankie Law. Um, Francis Loy, um, Danny Shum's a nice guy, as I say. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of nice people. David Hall, John Moore, John Size is great for advice. Um, I find everyone very accommodating, so at this, at this point in time, I, you know, I can't single anyone out in particular. Yeah, I could see that a lot of trainers have actually been working with you. You have been riding for different stables. But like you told me, your very first winner was a ride from uh, Danny Shum. I assume that ride would be the most memorable by far, was it? <laughs> well, at the moment it is, yes. It was a great uh, thrill to get that first winner in Hong Kong. Um, yeah, just to get, the, you know, to, get that, to get that out of the way and... Um, yeah, it was just a you know big big relief to, to get that first winner and hopefully the start of many more. And especially that winner was in Happy Valley because <laughs> I heard that most of the jockeys actually find this track very challenging. What do you think? Oh, I can see why. It um, it is an interesting track. It's um, you know it's it's a unique track. You know you've got that the 16 every start is you know different in its own sort of ways and you've got to it's a thinking track for a jockey you've got to be um, in certain positions on your horse and try and get them in winning positions at various points of the track so from a jockey's point of view it's not easy and you need to be on a horse to help you help you um, to be able to get in those positions and if you're not well you know, it makes it hard for a jockey. So I was lucky on Green Dispatch, I was on a horse that had tactical speed that was able to lead, and it worked well in our favour. Um, but, you know, I'm hopefully going to adapt to that track in the future, and that's what good jockeys can do. They can adapt to any scenario. Yeah, so Happy Valley track is certainly very challenging and unique, like you said. But what about the racing environment in terms of like the racing style of Hong Kong? How do you think it's very different from Australia? Uh, well, that's an interesting question as well. I think it is uh, a little bit different to Australia. To describe it, it's a lot more competitive out on the track than Australian racing. Every man for himself is out on that track trying to get positions. You've got to be a real, real fierce competitor out on the track. Australian racing is a little bit more different. The rules are a little bit kinder to the riders, I feel, um, in Hong Kong. So you can be a bit more aggressive. Where in Australia, if you can be, if you're over aggressive, the stewards will come down a bit harder on you. In, in your riding, where Hong Kong, it's, it's a bit different. So. Um, it's interesting in that element and it's something that I'm going to work on but no doubt I will get there and um, yeah it's just, it's just part and parcel of different juris riding jurisdictions where you ride and you just got to learn to adapt. Many jockeys find it very difficult to find supports in Hong Kong and it's the main difficulties for them. But I don't think that's a problem for you by far. I think you've been doing great having supports from different people. So what do you think it's, do you find anything particularly challenging here in Hong Kong? Um, well, the one thing at this point in time, the challenging is one thing I touched on is just the learning to adapt from Australia to Hong Kong. Um, because you know you've you've been riding in a certain riding jurisdiction for 15 years, and you, then you've got to come to Hong Kong, and then you've got to you know get with the times in Hong Kong, or else you're going to struggle. So you've got to just you know change your learn to change your mindset a bit, and change how you think out there. Because if you don't, you're going to get you know you're going to fall behind, and if you want to be on the level of the Maria's and the Zach Pertons, um, you know, you've got to you've got to pick it up quickly, or else you're not going to get the support that you that you want. So I'll pick it up, and um, you know, I'm looking forward to. Like I said, it's a challenge, but it's an exciting challenge. 
Okay, so we have, we have <laughs> been talking a lot about racing. Have you been visiting around Hong Kong? Not a lot. I've been into, you know, into Central and to a couple of nice restaurants for, for dinner. Um, I went to Lama Island for a nice seafood lunch. But, you know, at this point in time, I'm just trying to settle in and get my head around racing as best I can. Okay, so what about your family? Have they been visiting here before? Yeah, fortunately I've, I've had my family, my mum and my brother and his fiance here, but not, not too many um, other people have come. I've had a couple of other friends come over, but for, the, for this point in time I don't want too many visitors from Australia because I'm just in this stage of trying to settle in and I just want to make sure that, that you know, I've get everything set up before I have too many people come over. Understood. So mm -hmm. when you have time later, you should explore Hong Kong or maybe go for more food because I think this is the best part of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Blake. This part, um, it's almost time. Next part, we'll talk about more about your childhood and your background. Okay, okay thank cool. you so much. Bye-bye.